Hello, I'm Brian Poe, the executive chef here at Poe's Kitchen at the Rattlesnake. And today we're going to do a little uh, wild boar tacos. So we're having some fun here at the, at the Poe's Kitchen where we're taking all sorts of fun exotic ingredients and turning them into fun, playful tacos. So what we have here is about a five pound piece of wild boar chops. And we've gone ahead and removed the bones off. And we've cut some holes into the inside here. And we've taken a, a meat steel and pushed through so that we can actually stuff it with a little bit of the, uh, the serrano chilies. So we'll take a little bit of the serranos and we'll just kind of fill that right inside there. We're gonna pack it in there and we'll, all the way through, we'll just keep pushing it in until it's just filled all the way up. And then after we have that stuffed good, we're gonna take a little bit of uh, tequila, some chipotle peppers, some garlic, and some cilantro, and we're gonna puree that all together. First, we'll start with a little seasoning of salt and pepper, and then we'll take a little bit of the cilantro. We'll rub that on. And then we're going to take our chipotle tequila puree. And we're going to pour that across the top. We're going to rub that really nice on, on both sides. OK, so we're going to let this marinate a little bit. And then we're going to turn around and we're going to put it right on the grill. Uh, we're going to lay that on. And we're going to let that go about 20 minutes. We can just keep turning it every so often and keep seasoning it. I like to use a little bit of butter or olive oil on mine. So we'll take a little and spread that across a touch. Like I said, about 20 minutes, just kind of turning it every few minutes until it comes up to about medium rare. If you want it more, obviously, we can take it all the way up to the top and make sure that your stuffing stays in there nicely. All right, so we'll let this go for about 20 minutes and just keep turning it the whole time and be ready for a nice, nice boar taco. All right, so we've let this cook for about 20 minutes and now we're going to get ready to start making some tacos. So I'm going to take, at home, this will feed about about four people to make about 20 tacos. So I'm gonna take a little bit of flour tortillas, lay those right on the grill. Again, just a little bit of oil or butter just to kind of help them steam a little bit. And then at the same time, I'm gonna take a knife. And we're just gonna to begin to cut these. So we'll turn our tortillas over. Then we're gonna go ahead and cut our wild boar. Just cut it down in nice medallions like so. So you can cut it right off the grill. It makes for a fun outdoor activities there. I'm going to go for about three slices here for these three tacos. Then we're going to take these, we'll lay them right on the plate. I'll take a little bit of the boar, which didn't cut that well. <laughs> we're going to lay those right inside the taco shells there. And then we're going to take a little bit of fried Swiss chard. So what we've done is we julienne some Swiss chard. Take a little bit of that. We salt and pepper that just a touch. And then we're going to take a little bit of our acorn squash and date salsa. Put that right in the middle. And then we're going to take a little bamboo skewers here and put these together. And there we have a nice autumn wild boar taco at Poe's Kitchen.